Alright, so today we got a pretty cool one. Today we're making Rick Grimes Hatchet from The Walking Dead. Uh, this one's actually been on my list for a good while. A long while. It's just this one took a little bit of work to get to where I wanted it to, so I put it off for a while. But basically, all you gotta do is cut out whatever material you're using. And I chose PVC, and uh, so I had to cut out six blade templates to get it where I wanted it to be. to uh, make it work the way you want it to you need two of those six pieces unaltered but the four ones that go in the middle they have to have like a hollowed out spot for the handle to go as you can see there and so when you cut out that section and then you stack them all up sandwich style you get a cool cutout where you can put your handle when you're ready sand up the pieces a little bit before you glue them together to uh, just help the glue bite a little bit better. There's several ways you can do this. You can use the PVC cement glue you see on screen there. I was gonna use that, but then I got impatient and decided I'll just go the quick way and use super glue. And so once you get that together, then you just gotta pretty it up and make it look like an ax handle. So I uh, trim it, carve it, sand it, shape it until I get it to look how I want to. I'm not going to explain too much because you can see most of the steps that I do and they really don't need to be explained. I do have a question though. Who is your favorite character from The Walking Dead? I must say Rick Grimes is probably, he's definitely a part of my top three. You know, a lot of people are like mega Daryl fans and you know, I get it. He, he's, he's definitely on my list, but I still think it doesn't get any better than the OG Rick Grimes himself and I really like his hatchet. Okay, so right here, I want to talk about this actually. So I uh, was looking at the handle and I was like, man, that handle looks extremely long. And uh, theirs doesn't have the logo on it or on that. And then I got to really looking at it and I realized that they just took this exact axe, hatchet, whatever you want to call it. They took the exact hatchet and just chopped it off where like the uh, Chinese kanji goes. And I was like, wow, that's really cool and simple, actually. So um, I just cut it to just after the kanji to keep those out of it. And then I took my PVC and I heated it and I flattened it halfway, like to where it was like a nice oval shape. And then after that, I just uh, reheat the handle a, a little bit at the tip so that I can slide it inside the axe head itself. And now I just got to cap off both the bottom and the top. But yeah, man, I'm, I got to say I'm a big fan of Rick's Hatchet. Rick's Hatchet is one of the weapons up on the list that I've been wanting to make for a while. Uh, I also want to make Daryl's newer, uh, I call them his leader knives because he has those knives around season 9 and 10 when he's more of a leader. Definitely want to make a Lucille. Uh, that, that's definitely on my list. There's, there's a couple Walking Dead props. So I'm... Um, well, that's one way to do a segue. What prompts would you like to see me build next? <clears throat> definitely leave a comment or just let me know, you know, like what's something you want to see me make. I definitely have more uh, Naruto videos coming out because right now that's like my main thing is uh, anime and specifically Naruto. So I have more of those videos coming out. But I also just recently finished uh, The Seven Deadly Sins. So I know I have at least two things from that that I want to make. So definitely stay tuned for those i'm actually really excited to build those as of recording this i haven't started yet but i'm super ready for it <laughs> so yeah i'm not really explaining anything here because it's just sand sand some more and glue and sand some more and yeah so you kind of get that step Alright, so we have the hatchet, but I also bought this little, uh, like, uh, cell phone holder. It's 
basically the exact same one they had in the show except that one was blue and this is a red one and the logo's in a different placement but yeah and i just went ahead and cut a little hole in the bottom of it so it can slide down in there and then boom i got rick's hatchet and it's in its holster i can't like i gotta go back and look i'm not sure but this definitely ain't closing over that there's no way it would and or could no matter how you do it it's not happening so what i do is i just let it rest right there behind it and just boom i'm gonna have it mounted on the wall like that when it's done but yeah so now we just got to get ready to start painting this but before we paint it like we stated before we gotta fill those little gaps right there I also want to mention another nice thing about doing it the way I did with the solid head and the hollow PVC handle. It has a realistic weight to it, so like it's very front heavy like you would want a hatchet to be. Now sure, it's still not as heavy as a hatchet, but the head of it's a solid piece just with the handle uh, carved out, or the handle hole carved out, and it's really, really solid, and the... Uh, handle is hollow itself just capped off at the ends and so it leaves that really light and the head heavy and it's nice man it's a nice weight it feels real it makes it all the more real when you're holding it so i just went and hit it with a quick coat of some um glossy black i'm gonna end up hitting it with a matte coat just to knock down the black because you know i don't really want to see my reflection like that in the well, that's actually kind of cool though yeah, I don't want to see that. That actually works really well for making like chrome paint, but that's not what I need for this. So I hit it with some black spray paint. I'm going to sit here and let this dry. I only did one coat. I didn't need much. It got really good coverage, actually. And then I'm going to um, let this dry probably overnight and then tape off all the black that I want to stay black so I can hit up the silver edge to give it like, like sharpened look. But, um, so yeah, I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'll come back when I have the silver on it, and then you actually get to watch me paint the handle, because I'm gonna paint it by hand, just because weather issues, and it'd just be easier to get my, like, wood-looking effect if I do it hand-painting it, and I don't think I can do it with the rattle can, so, yeah, so we'll be back for that one. I know I called this an effect, but, well, I guess, I guess it's technically a practical effect. So what I did is I just missed, uh, I uh, mixed up a couple different colors of wood trying to figure out what kind of colors I wanted to work with. Just getting a, like an idea of what it was I wanted. And um, once I got like a nice uh, untreated like just raw wood color, I went ahead and used that as the base coat on my handle. And uh, I did two coats of that just to get solid coverage for that one. And then, here's a fun tip, if you take a heat uh, hair dryer you can um, speed up your drying pro uh, process on your paint. I don't recommend using a heat gun because I haven't tried it, but I imagine it could probably make your uh, paint bubble up or crack or I don't know. I just know that a heat uh, hair dryer works pretty well. But then after that, you just do a series of washes of those different colors you've seen I used, uh, lighter, darker, just until you get that wood finish you want. All right, so that is rick grimes hatchet from the walking dead another bucket list prop done so uh thank you guys for watching and i guess i'll just see you soon for the next one